before the playoffs on 2K Sports. It's game one. We're ready to tip it off in just moments. Brian Anderson here, joined by our analysts, Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, plus reporting from the sidelines, Allie LaForce. Now the starting group for the visitors. Shea Gilgis-Alexander is out there with Murray. Then it's Kelly Olynyk. Then it's Dylan Brooks. And it's Dort in at power forward. Here's Bogdanovich. Defended by Murray. Fires the three. And Bogdanovich is good for three. And this is why Bogdanovich is a vital cog in this offense. It's his ability to stretch the floor like that. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Dort for three. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Olenek with a screen on Bogdanovich. From deep, Gilgis Alexander buries it from three. The shape Gilgis Alexander, so dangerous in pick and roll. He's, he's going to keep you off balance because he can score it or facilitate. Pass to Guterich. The three. Oh, can't get it. Misses his first attempt. Just one made field goal in five tries. Not a good start. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. I love when Shea does not just settle for a layup. Finish with authority. What a pretty dunk. They kick it out to Murray. Hits the trifecta. The confidence on full display. Murray recognizes ahead of time when to shoot off the catch. Protecting the rim at all costs against a guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. The burst of speed from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Put it on the deck, get to the cup. Bogdanovich with it. Five points in the game. Out to the wing. Down low. To the wing on the left. All alone. And he nails the jumper. Bogdanovich has got seven points. This speaks to the level of confidence Bogdanovich possesses. Pass to Pokashevsky. Let's it go from deep. And Bogdanovich is good for three. He's got ten. Can't blame the deficit on him. He's been scoring at will this period. And he's good on the second. Now Gilgis Alexander. He's got nine. Pass to Powell. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Oh, he gets it to go. So far, he can't miss. He's four for four. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. Gilgis Alexander defending. it in with a nice touch off the window. If you give him any sort of space, he's going to attack. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Nimhart, good. Nimhart's gotten a second bucket on the night. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Now here's Pokashevsky. The D's right on him. Clock at four. Releases. It's good on the putback. I always love the hard work on the glass. Just great activity. It could go. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. They lead by 13. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in a moment.
time for us to get back into it here in game one. And from what we've seen here from the home team, what's your take so far? With their offense clicking on all cylinders, they own that first quarter. That's exactly the start you want. You take complete command. Now you've got to maintain that focus. Shooting 70% from the field, a performance that has been fun to watch. R.J. Barrett out there with Andrew Wiggins. Then it's Shea Gilgis Alexander. Then there's Dwight Powell. And it's Nimhard in at the two. Yeah, Shea Gilgis Alexander has now emerged into a superstar. And on nights like this, guys, he's unstoppable. We've got Dwight Powell. Andrew Wiggins is out there with R.J. Barrett. Then it's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Nimhard in at the two guard spot. I mean, some good stuff out here. Five of their last six buckets have come off of nice passes. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. And he dumps it down. A dynamic finish, then decides to hang out a little for good measure. <laughs> yep, that's the exclamation point right there. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 13. That one's good from Powell. On the assist from Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got four assists now tonight. Gone two of four here in the second quarter. Here's Pokashevsky. Launches a three. Drops in the three. Pokashevsky's got five. And this will be more and more a part of his game, the more efficient he gets. Pokashevsky, a big who can shoot it. Pass to Wiggins. Fires the three. And Wiggins knocks down the three. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Brooks left side. And the layup is good off the glass. Brooks has got six points in the quarter. Well, great decision from Dort. If your teammate is open, get him the basketball. Nicely done. Hitting two threes in the first, but he hasn't had one since. Brooks. And he goes in for the dunk. Yeah, I know the guys love to see Brooks get in a groove like this. It gets the whole team fired up. Brooks outside from downtown. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Shooting around 51%. That's a good number. From behind the arc. Drills it from deep. 14 points for him. His three-point shot looks so pure. The defense allowing him to get comfortable out there. Brooks outside. Pass to Dort. Back to Brooks. And he takes the feet in stride and slams it home. Yeah, just showcasing his athleticism. When Brooks gets open space around the rim, he looks to throw it down with authority. Guarded by Barrett. Rebound by Olenek. The deep three from Murray. The shot, no good. So as we conclude the first half, a fairly one-sided game. Up 19. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. again for round one of the NBA playoffs. Look at Dylan Brooks. What a contribution. He's hit shot after shot from deep. He's so locked in right now. 
Well, the break certainly didn't have a cooling effect on him at all. He's in a great rhythm, looking comfortable and confident. And on the floor for J.B. Bickerstaff as we get into the second half. Cannot believe he missed that one. Ooh, I'm sure he can either. Let's it fly. Plenty of room around him, and it's good. Jokic has got 11. And Jokic has a number of moves to choose from, especially deep inside. Left side Murray. Cashes it in from 11 feet. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Wow! Always fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Boy, it's incredible how much explosive scoring ability can come from the lead guard position. That is a big time play. To the inside. And the basket by Jokic. He's got 13. Some contact won't disturb Jokic's motion much, but he just powers right through. Here's Gooderich. Knocks down the triple. Well, the defense deserves to get burned. Absolutely no excuse for leaving him open. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Pulls up on the wing. And there it is for him. the home team now their biggest lead of the game is 21 and Powell with the stuff I think this is where Powell is really trying to improve right sacrificing his body taking it right to the defense that one falls for Powell boy Dwight Powell is such a hard playing athletic big man he could fit himself into any scheme right now three-pointer the rebound by Murray. Murray's got his fifth rebound in this one. Now I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. Good awareness by Murray. Sees a hole in the defense and feeds the guy ready to exploit it. Shooting about 40% so far in the third. Here's Bogdanovich. And then Bogdanovich with the dunk. His arrow's been trending up as of late, and he's been magnificent tonight. Here's Nimhart. He's got six. Pass to Wiggins. Driving in. Up and in from the low block. Wiggins has got seven points in the game. Elite burst. Hard to stay in front of Wiggins right now. Down low. Right wing. From deep, Jokic. Ooh, that high release of Jokic as he buries the three. I mean, with his three-point shooting, Jokic is able to draw opposing bigs out on the perimeter, and that opens up driving lanes for him and his teammates. 13 feet out. Nimhard, good. Give him eight. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. There's 53 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. Nails it from beyond the arc. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. There's 25 seconds left in the third quarter. Pokashevsky takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Pokashevsky's got 10 points. Their spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more threes to stretch that defense. Now here's Barrett. He's closely guarded. Count it. Boy, you talk about a gifted finisher. R.J. Barrett's soft touch on the interior. Just four seconds left in the third quarter. The three is up. No good on the buzzer beater. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. Up by 15. 
And don't go away. We'll be back in a few moments. It'll be the fourth quarter of basketball coming up next. in our coverage of this first round. They've got Shea Gilgis-Alexander, Dwight Powell out there with Andrew Wiggins. Then it's R.J. Barrett, and it's Nimhart in a shooting guard. Now here's Bogdanovich over Gilgis-Alexander. Bogdanovich, that's good. Bogdanovich has got nine points now in the second half. Gilgis Alexander passes to Powell. Here's Nimhart. Launches it. Hey, now five for eight. Shooting a pretty good percentage right now. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Now, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Wiggins outside. Here's Wiggins to the hole. Yep, that one goes. Well, nice decision on the pick and roll. Wiggins getting his own offense within the flow. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock. He can really read the floor. Precision pass in rhythm. Gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. Defended by Bogdanovich. A nice shot by Gilgis Alexander. Boy, you respect the shot selection from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Just taking what the defense gives him. And that one goes. He's shooting five of nine in this one. Yeah, surprised he doesn't have more shot attempts. He's been accurate. You'd think he'd want to take control now with them behind. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Pass to Murray. He shoots. Count it. Now 8 for 13 with that basket. We've seen this before from Murray. In big games, too, a dynamic score. The three. Drains the triple. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. It's Dort on the wing. Jacks up a three. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Gilgis Alexander's got his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him tonight. Olenek with a screen on Bogdanovich. Down to five on the shot clock. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got 28. The way they dominated, they earned the dub tonight. And they just went out and executed. Give credit to the coaching staff. They have to be thrilled with their level of play. You like seeing Bogdanovich get it done inside. An opportunistic score around the rim. One minute left to play in the fourth quarter. Gilgis Alexander against Bogdanovich. Gilgis Alexander passes to Murray. Outside for Dort. Beyond the arc. He drops it from range. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. You can tell Bogdanovich is in an attacking mindset right now, being aggressive and getting rewarded for it. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. And 
And with that win, they'll be moving on to round two. And they start out the postseason with a bang, a big-time victory. The attitude they came out with was aggressive. They wanted to set the tone from the jump, and they did just that. And that about wraps it up from here, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA's Western Conference quarterfinals.